So this is a story and topic that I'm pretty surprised isn't as well known as I thought it was. While I'm surprised, though, I completely understand how the story has been forgotten over time. So I'll give a little context to it first. NBC Sports was one of the major networks that was a partner of NASCAR from 2001 to 2006 during its big boom. While Fox was relatively well received by the fan base, NBC was much more divisive amongst fans. The relationship between NASCAR and NBC strained due to this and a few other factors behind the scenes over NASCAR's boom. As a result, when NASCAR inked together a new contract for a TV deal in the 2005 season, NBC was left out. So 2006 would be a lame duck season for the broadcasters. At this point in time, NASCAR had come off of the 2005 season, which to this day has given the sport its highest popularity ever in TV ratings and attendance. The sport was a national phenomenon. It could move the ratings needle in a way that could only be beaten by the NFL at this point. Parallel to NASCAR's peak, though, was the 9-11 terrorist attack and the war on terror. Due to the fact that much of this was caused by Islamic extremists, there was an added anti-Muslim sentiment around this time. This grew early in 2006, to which the producers of the show Dateline had noticed. So you might be asking, what does this have to do with NASCAR and how does this all come together? Well, it all came crashing together on April 2, 2006 at the 2006 DirecTV 500 in Martinsville, Virginia. As reported by the Associated Press and ESPN, the NBC network had confirmed that it had sent, quote, Muslim-looking men to a race, along with the camera crew, to film fans' reactions. That's right. NBC tried to provoke a reaction by race baiting in order to create a news story. And they did get a story, but it wasn't the one they were thinking they'd get, because NASCAR fans had no problems whatsoever with the men. But the story instead for NBC was that NASCAR was rightfully outraged by the fiasco. NASCAR spokesman Ramsey Poston responded quickly, stating, quote, It is outrageous that a news organization of NBC stature would stoop to the level of going out to create news instead of reporting news. And he also said that, quote, Any legitimate journalist in America should be embarrassed by this stunt. The obvious intent by NBC was to evoke a reaction, and we are confident in our fans that they won't take the bait. Seeing the PR nightmare of angering both the sanctioning body and fans of the sport whose popularity was on par with that of the NFL's, NBC quickly responded. Dateline is looking into this story. We were intrigued by the result of a recent Washington Post slash ABC News poll and other articles regarding increasing anti-Muslim sentiments in the United States. They continued on with this, saying, It's very early on in our news gathering process, but be assured we will be visiting a number of locations across the country and are confident that our reporting team is pursuing this story in a fair manner. Basically, NBC was caught with its pants down as well as its hands in the cookie jar. Due to this exchange, it created an even bigger divide between the partners, and for nearly the next decade, NASCAR and NBC were about as far away from each other as they could be, only to be reunited in the 2015 season. Now, I don't want people to go hating on NBC or people that work for them. This happened almost 13 years ago as I'm recording this. What I think we can do, though, is learn from it. At the time, NBC expected NASCAR's fans to be nothing more than the stereotype of racist white trash. But, as we all should know, NASCAR fans are so much more than that. We come from all kinds of backgrounds, walks of life, political representations, you name it, NASCAR fans have it. So at the end of the day, this story should teach us not to judge a book by its cover. So what are your thoughts? Let me know down below, and until next time, have a good one.